The other videos in this series cover the basic tools that you can use as you configure the operator interface, drawing the widgets and other features. Now, the basics are fine, but they barely scratch the surface of what you can do with the IDS Studio. In this video, I'm going to go beyond the basics and look at some of the advanced configuration options. And do you remember that rule we had that tags can only be linked to a widget, never to an image? Well, I'm not going to break that rule, but I will show you how to bend it a little bit. Working with the Idea Studio, I have four widgets drawn. And if I were to right click and look at it, I can see that there is in fact a way to link this to a tag. Now, if I were to go to the images menu and grab some basic image, drop it onto the screen, right clicking on that, and I see there is no way to link this to any tag. But let's take a closer look at what's inside of the properties dialog. First, there are the tools to adjust and select the image. But over here on the left, in this uh, list of things that can be adjusted, I'm going to open the opacity option. And here I have the ability to adjust the uh, opacity or transparency, if you will, so I can make that fade away or come back. So zero is completely transparent and one is completely opaque. Now, if instead of using a simple number, if I use this selection to find a tag, I could tie that, uh, that image, tie its opacity, to any tag that I want, and I'm going to choose one that simply runs between 0 or 1. So the pump running status. The pump is not currently running, therefore the value of the tag is 0, and therefore the opacity dropped to 0, and the image vanished. Let's close that. And over here on the overview screen, which is in the background of the Idea Studio, I can use the buttons to start the pump running, and as soon as the pump is running, the status tag goes to a 1, opacity is 1, I can now see it again. So we've got the ability not to directly link images to tags, but any of the display characteristics of absolutely anything at all on the screen can be tied in with a tag value, or also to an expression or to a parameter, or to a number of other sources for the, the value that should be used for that display characteristic. So let's take another look inside of this uh, image. The tank level is currently going up. Let's pause that for a moment while I uh, reconfigure. Reopening the properties, I'll take away the opacity property so that it's always going to be visible. And now I'm going to open the scaling. I can adjust any of the four sides, or I could adjust the overall scaling. I'm going to choose the top scaling, and now I'm going to use, instead of a simple value of 1, I'm going to find a tag value. And here I'm going to select perhaps the, uh, the tank level. So I'll select the tank level, and the image immediately squishes. I'm going to use the tank, or sorry, the tag scaling. Now, the, as the uh, tag goes from its lowest value to its highest, the image will go from absolutely flat up to its full size. Click on OK, allow the pump to continue running, and if you watch the image now, it will very slowly start to increase in size as the top scaling increases. So, I could use this to create a custom animation similar to what's built into the widget. Now, another example is text. If I put text on the screen, the edit dialog allows you to type in any value you want, but you also have the ability to go find and choose, well, parameters or a linked tag. Now, a linked tag is a different concept, so let me go down to expression. I don't have to show you any programming here because expressions can use tag values. So I'm going to open up the tag browser, find the uh, current analog status tag showing me that uh, tank level, which is pretty much at 99.9 .9 now. 
choose that and now I have text which reflects the value inside of the underlying tag. Now that's not necessarily the best way to draw text on the screen or to draw a tag value. If I had wanted to draw a tag value, I really should have gone to the widgets, find my basic components, and in the text I can use a numeric value or one of these very fancy looking LCD segments. The point, however, is that you're able to use a tag value or an expression or other features for anything that can be displayed on the screen. One more example. Let's go back into this, uh, uh, this image. And in its properties, I'll take away the, the movement scaling, or the uh, tag scaling, and this time go into the image adjust. And if I open the advanced configuration for adjusting an image, I will discover that for every single one of these properties, I have one of these menus that allows me to reach in and grab onto a tag value to supply whatever value is going to be used. Now with color, it's a bit more tricky because color tends to use these RGB values that are in hexadecimal notation. Now, fortunately, there's also an older system built into VTSCADA where color numbers can be numbers with I've got a value from 0 to 255. So if I were to look up the old palette in the help file and choose values from, from 0 to 255, that would allow me to you know, sort of, kind of, use a tag value for color. Now let's go to something that's a bit easier, like mirror image. I'm going to grab onto a tag value for that, and I'll simply use the, uh, the pump running status again. Now when the pump is running, it will be mirrored, and when it's not running, it will not be mirrored. So going back to use the controls again, as I stop and start, the image flips back and forth, mirroring along with the underlying tag value. With a combination of these tools, and if you take the time to learn the VTSCADA expression language, you can pretty much do anything you can think of within the user interface of your Idea Studio screen. If you're interested in learning more about the expression language, I highly recommend open the help file. And if within the help file, you will have the ability to find the tools for building and scripting and automation. Under scripting and automation, you can click on start here for scripting, and that will give you a quick overview of how to use the expression language, which tells you everything you're going to need to know in order to do calculations on tag values or combine them together. It expands the range of what can be done enormously.